is up everybody and welcome back to my channel like I promised I am back today at the at-home store that is still the most confusing thing today I have a special guest I am with Brian today avec Brian right avec moi avec Brian I don't know I don't speak French hi <laughs> yeah with Brian today he really wanted to check it out we are at a different location in Orlando because I heard that this one is even bigger not gonna be showing you any of the Christmas stuff today today is going to be the rest of the store if you missed my last video I did a complete walkthrough of all of the at-home Christmas decor I'll definitely have that linked down below for you guys and I'll have all of my other Christmas decor shop with me videos linked below but if you're new here hello my name is Katie I live in Orlando Florida and I do all like shop with me videos home decor videos anything to do with like Target home goods cleaning motivation decorate with me all that kinds of good stuff so if you love videos like that definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below like I have mentioned a couple times before Brian and I are moving into a brand new place in January and we are really really excited about it so I'm excited to check out this store this store like I said in my last video is kind of like if a Hobby Lobby and a home goods like a bunch of home goods locations and a big lots and a furniture store had a baby then you would have the at-home store so if you haven't checked this store out definitely go to their website you can actually shop the entire website which I didn't find out until I went home from filming my last video so if you are interested in anything I show in today's video definitely go ahead and shoot me a direct message on Instagram I can try to help you find it on the website if you can't find it on your own but yeah I was really surprised to see you can shop the entire website online they also have sales and promotions and things like that I'm sure that they'll have some great sales for Black Friday so this is definitely a store that you should check out if you don't have one in your area you can definitely check it out online but this is a big store and my last video was super long and I don't think this one will be any different so I don't want to blab on what the f he waited until right when I stopped filming to scream profanities that there's a crack in his car how does that even happen I don't know it's really weird you know what might make it better Starbucks home no we already have that oh home decor shopping for my car yeah no home decor shopping for my car home, what Okay, so starting off with a bang, I know I said I wasn't gonna show Christmas stuff, and this is literally it. We're gonna get one of these three foot unlit black trees for $7.99 so that we could do a mini Halloween tree next year. Brian thinks that we're jumping the gun a little bit, but I don't think we'll be able to get one if we don't get one now. A little premature. But it's $7.99. It is a good deal. So like I said, we are at a different location. This one is a little bit less organized than the other one. Just trying to get like a lay of the land, but really, really cool stuff. And it is like very, very similar. It's the exact same store. This one is just set up like a little bit different. So like I mentioned, the cool thing about at home is you can shop their online store. They also just have like a really, really big selection like of furniture in store. So they always have like more than one of what you're looking for and they can order it for you too, which is definitely something that sets it apart from something like home goods where you're gonna find cute stuff, but you probably aren't gonna find how many of whatever you need or you'll never find the same bar stool that you fell in love with, that sort of thing. So that's something that sets at home apart from other stores. We are shopping for like a kitchen dining set and they have these really cute chairs that we like. So they have, and they have four of them. So maybe we'll go home with them. So it is like this like linen, more towards grayish colored upholstered with black legs, which definitely fits the style we're going for. Give it the comfy set test. Oh yeah. Comfy? It's good. It's, <laughs> way more, it's way more cushion than I would have you thought. You look so happy. <laughs> it's way more. They are 119 really each. They're really nice. So we found the bar stool that matches it. I'm not sure about the low back. I wish it was a little bit higher, kind of like that. And Brian, also, you didn't sit in this and test it out. Oh yeah. So I sat in it and I have a feeling about it, but I need Brian to sit in it and see if he has the same feeling that I do. My butt's too big. Yeah, it was a little tight on my butt too. <laughs> Why are our asses so large? I don't know. They have all different like dining chairs, also patio furniture, bar stools. And then they also sell like comfy accent chairs, couches, all sorts of different stuff. Like the stuff they have here is bananas. Here are some of the upholstered bed headboards that they have just to give you an idea for prices of what these might cost. Lots of different styles of the upholstered as well. I would say that those prices are comparable, if not better, than what I've been looking at online. We're looking to buy um, 
a king-sized bed that's upholstered. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll definitely have seen like our bed saga, how we bought a bed, it came, I didn't like it, so I convinced Brian to let me sell it and then I sold it. So now we need another bed and they are expensive. So I have really expensive taste. They have so many styles of like end tables, side tables, nightstands, just so many different options to choose from. This is kind of cool. It's like a side table almost. $89. Yeah, I like how it's cream on the top. We're wanting to put gold accents in our house. So something like that could be really cool. This could be another cool one. It is actual marble on the top and it's $69.99, but it has the gold legs that we like. We don't want to do too much gold, just some gold, but this could be really cool and it's a great price. I like this one, this nightstand. It has the black legs, it has gold hardware, and then it has like really nice neutral wood. So, big fan of this one for our bedroom or the guest bedroom. We just rounded the corner and ended up in like total Katie loving territory. Obsessed with the cane and the color, how it's just light. Same line has this really nice coffee table. Oh my gosh. Big fan. Brian is overwhelmed by all the stuff they have here. It's incredible. So many things. Do you like shopping? Do you think with that we have the same style? Yeah. You do? Yeah, more yeah. or less. Brian just likes stuff that's nice. I just want it to be nice. Yeah, so I feel like he gives me a lot of creative control as long as stuff is nice, which I like. That seems fair. Yeah, it is fair. I like it. I don't come home with anything that he hates. I do like you show come him with stuff. stuff. You hate <laughs> what? You come up with the stuff you hate. What do you mean? Well, bed frames for one. Oh, okay. Well, that was <laughs> an accident. Just to kind of give you an idea, all of those are like all chairs and seating and stuff. It's absolutely insane. They have like dining table selections, all different chairs. <laughs> Brian in a chair. I don't know why I like these stuff. You like this chair a lot. I like, like, the the shape, like how wide it is. Wide. It doesn't take up too much space, but it gives the person that's sitting like some comfort. <laughs> okay, big booty Judy. Yep, I can sit like this if I want. <laughs> okay. They have, similar to Home Goods, a lot of like different bedding sets, like comforter, bed in a bag type things. Just to give you an idea for price, this queen sized one is $70. And then I found this king size one that I actually really like. I'm very into like white clean bedding and this one is a hundred dollars. And white clean bedding is a great idea in theory but when you have three dogs and one of them has like partly black hair it's not like the smartest choice. We have to clean our bedding a lot. So at Brian's house we used to have a duvet with a duvet cover and then at my house we have a comforter and I kind of don't know which one I want to get for our new house and our new bed. So can you guys please leave me a comment down below if you're like team duvet cover and duvet or team comforter because, and maybe some pros and cons because I don't really know. Like a comforter, it's like a lot more to wash, but it's a lot easier to put back on than a duvet cover. And if you've ever had a duvet cover, then you know what I'm talking about. What? About what? Quilts. How do you feel about quilts? Are you asking them? I'm asking you. About, you're asking me? How you feel about quilts. Um, I mean, I... I don't know. Like these? Well, like what about a quilt? Like if you would do it instead of a comforter. Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I had, thought they were just like decorative. I had just a quilt at one point. Like sheets You had and just a quilt. a quilt at one point? Yeah, like sheets and then a quilt. Quilts remind me of like a lake house or like a cabin. Yeah. <laughs> he also pointed out on purposely. On purpose. <laughs> the ugliest <laughs> bedding ever <laughs> that literally looks like it was pulled off of like his college dorm bed it may have been they also have tons and tons of sheets all different colors they also have winter ones similar to how target does and they are flannel so lots of different like types and colors as well as fabrics polyester cotton that sort of thing brian was like can i get a thread count well they're and they're labeled so you see performance and then oh. luxury, which is where I'm headed. Luxury. Brian's headed to the luxury sheet section. I'm used to really nice ones, so we gotta keep it that way. I can never tell the difference. Oh, then you've never had nice ones. Well, then I guess, apparently I've never had nice ones. Also, a really, really great selection of curtain rods. 
We are gonna be putting curtains and curtain rods. Well, obviously you need curtain rods to hang curtains in our new apartment because we have a lot of awesome windows and I just think they would look nice. They are going to be strictly for decorative purposes, but they have a really, really good selection. This is another place where they have a leg up on a store like Home Goods, where they have a lot of each one and I could come here and know that I could rely on them to have a lot of different options and have enough of each one. And if I can't find it, I could order it on their website, which is, again, something that you can't do from Home Goods. So this is a place where I think that At Home has Home Goods beat. Another win for At Home, they have a massive like shade and curtain selection, a lot of each, so you could definitely get enough of the ones that you want. They're broken up by like sheerness and more like patterned ones and then over here are, like thicker and then blackout curtains definitely something for everyone all different colors patterns decor styles all of that fun stuff moving on to bathroom stuff i really really like this like hammered gold trash barrel yes i call it a barrel i'm from new england don't at me they're all broken up into like different styles so golds and then it goes into silvers and just a bunch of different stuff that corresponds with each one here is like the little farmhouse section notice how it says <laughs> brian's like oh this stuff is so farmhouse yeah this is all like the galvanized metal with the wood i like these these are something i would have bought like a couple years ago. I have like a toothbrush holder for it, a soap dispenser, trash can. Like I said, they have like all shower curtains and towels all lumped together so it makes it really easy for you to shop. So it's broken up by like traditional. This is actually the boho section. Honestly, there's not really anything here. And then like I said, there is farmhouse and then down there is like beachy beach house decor. All right, getting more into like the throw pillow selection. Again, a lot of different colors and styles. I have my eye on this like red and white striped one. This is a really, really good decorative pillow for the holidays and it looks a lot like one that's in the hearth and hand Christmas line this year, but this one is a lot bigger and this one is $34.99. I'm gonna sound like a broken record and if you've watched my videos before, you know what I'm about to say since I'm touching throw pillows. So if you've been here, you know what I'm gonna say. Feel free to skip ahead 10 seconds, only 10 seconds, not off the video. But you guys know that I recommend not buying throw pillows unless you can take the covers off to wash them. That way it expands their life and all that stuff. And you can always cut off an old like throw pillow cover if it can't be like zippered off and you can buy new throw pillow covers on Amazon. I've gotten a lot of throw pillow covers on there. They have really, really cute ones and then you get to reuse like the pillow insert and you can put a new cover over it. So just my helpful tip, don't buy throw pillows that you can't wash the covers. Okay, so we stopped and checked several different pillows and 90% of them you can't take the covers off. So I don't know that I can advocate for their pillow selection, just my opinion. Like perfect example, I'm obsessed with this pillow. I love the color, I love the pattern, I love the little like tassels on the side, but you can't take the cover off. And it's just so hard. We have three dogs who are all over our furniture like eating treats and bones on the couch and that just won't last. So we're just gonna have to leave it. One thing I wanted to mention about at home is they normally put all the clearance on the bottom level so you just have to like look down and then you can find all of the clearance. I mean obviously it's our own fault that we let the dogs on the furniture and like eat treats and stuff so to each their own if you don't do that then maybe buying throw pillows where you can't wash the covers would work better for you but just not for our lifestyle and I know a lot of my subscribers are huge dog lovers and animal lovers too so just wanted to give you the tip. One thing I wanted to mention about at home is they normally put all the clearance on the bottom level, so you just have to like look down and then you can find all of the clearance. Okay, it's making me laugh that they call them toss pillows when everywhere else calls them throw pillows. And I guess the toss is a synonym for throw, but I just think it's funny that they call them toss pillows. So I like this pillow. I don't, like I love like the style of it, but I'm not really liking the pink. But this one, you can actually take the cover off. So they definitely do have some, you just have to sit through i also liked this one i liked all like the tassel -y stuff on the side but of course you can't take the cover off of that one why oh yeah because it's like the what is that like swedish type yeah, okay we just found this one well actually brian found it props to him and you can take the cover off so i'm thinking it might be a little bit of a winner this is like more of the neutral pillows they do have them broken up into like different color categories 
Yeah, I like that one. I like the tassels on the sides. Great find, Bri. Great find. Brian seems to have really good pillow picking look. All the ones that he picks have a zipper, but all the ones that I pick don't. Oh my gosh! You match this pillow section so perfect. Damn. Okay, fake plant moms. This is where I got really excited in my last video and I could not wait to show this to you guys. They have such a good selection of like potted fake plants and succulents. Oh my gosh. I was just dying. I wanted to buy all of this, but I knew I had to wait until I filmed this video so they have just like all different types they have like succulent ones like I said all different types of baskets fake plants can definitely be pricey depending on like the pot and stuff but you have to keep in mind that they never die they literally last forever so it's like you buy it once and you never have to replace it like a real plant it could die and you could keep having to replace it so just something to keep in mind they are more expensive but they last forever okay so moving more into housewares it's set up kind of similar where it's like broken down by color I really really like this vase you could put like stems in it I like that a lot and I really like these dough bowls if you saw my latest like shop with me at Target and Home Goods in West Elm then you will have seen that I was looking at a dough bowl hoping that it was wishing that it was more neutral and these ones are honestly really really nice I just need to look on Pinterest for more like dough bowl decor inspiration because looking at it, I'm like, oh my God, I don't know like what I would put in it. To me, this area of the store is kind of where it reminds me a bit of Hobby Lobby. They have a lot of different like signs and they also have different letters. And unfortunately, this is what can happen if you give people the rain over some free letters. Brian pointed it out to me, but he promised that he didn't do it, so he swears. Okay, so if you watch my at-home Christmas video, you'll see that all of the Christmas stuff was broken down into like different collections. So the rest of their decor is actually like that as well. So in this aisle alone, there's like three different collections going on. So I'm guessing they have a lot of different collections. And it looks like they work with different designers to make these collections. So they're all a bit unique and really, really cool. And I will show them to you. So here's one where they worked with a designer. This collection is very like warm, neutral tones, a lot of like clear glass stuff, just a lot of like very easy to style and versatile decor pieces. Another collection in this aisle is the Tribeca collection. This one reminds me of like things you would collect traveling to like foreign countries. Like a lot of like darker stuff, little cool statues, lots of different tones going on. But that's the vibe that it gives me is like stuff that you would collect on worldly travels. These candle holders really caught my eye because they look exactly like the Studio McGee Christmas trees that I'm obsessed with. So I really like these candle holders. They are pretty big and you'd need a lot of other stuff, but a cool idea. But these are cute and a cool decor idea and they are $17.99. I like this vase a lot. This is nice and this is also $17.99. A lot of really cute stuff. I really like these little like houses. Oh, this is a different collection. This is the Homestead collection. This collection is a little bit more like farmhouse rustic, which is my old style. So a lot of it is stuff that I am still gravitating towards because they can be good transitional pieces from my old style to my new style. People are just going wild with these letters today. They have a pretty big selection of like these outdoor basket lamp type things. Lots of different colors. Someone even brought the Christmas ones over here, but these kind of give me like beach house vibes, but they have a lot of different ones nonetheless. I found in here someone had like both the different sizes set up. So I've tried like black candles and then Brian had the idea that like you could switch them up for the holidays and do red and green. And I think that looks really cute. No, I feel like the short goes with the short. No, I don't know. Or you can do like, or you can do like black and orange for Halloween. Like these are definitely very, very versatile. The short one is $12.99 and the taller one is $17.99. They have a very large candle holder selection. Definitely something for like every different style, all different colors, even more on this side. We really like these like black short ones. Those ones are really cool. Honestly, they're all really nice. Another thing I like to use these little like candle holders for is on my old hutch. I would use them to like bump stuff up so I could put like a mug on them or whatever. Maybe it's not the safest option, but 
another really good idea because they come in all different styles so you could definitely get them in any style and any color that you would want and you can use this to really like add elevation and add different heights and like all that stuff to add dimension to your display shelf brian is starting to feel it too how absolutely overwhelming this store is just endless 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 <sighs> we haven't even shown you like maybe a third maybe <laughs> And we're getting exhausted. We're trying to go have some drinks and apps. <laughs> it's okay, we will prevail. I used to say do it for the vlog, but do it for the shop with me video. The clearance selections in this store really remind me of like what you would find in Home Goods. You have to sift through it. You have to be willing to like be patient and see what you can find, but you can find some cool and cute stuff in here for a really good price because in this store, Anything with a red clearance tag is 50% off of the price, so it's definitely worth it. They also have lamp selection. These ones are catching my eye because they're gold on the base. The prices are very similar to what you would find at Target, and I personally feel that their selection is nicer. This actually really looks like the one I have in my bedroom, but mine is mercury glass. But personally, I feel like Target's lamp selection is better, so I would recommend going there for that. They have separate from like the housewares, little smaller planters. They have like more full size plants. Definitely a better selection than home goods. And the prices are very comparable. So this looks exactly like something that I showed in my most recent Target Shop With Me video. But in that one, you got three. This one is only one for $20. And I can't remember exactly how much it was for the Target set of three, but I know that the Target one was a better deal because this is really small. It's only 12 by 12. I really like it though, but just not as good of a deal. They have tons and tons and tons of canvas artwork. I like this one, but I don't really like the dark pink in it since we're trying to stay mostly neutral. They do have more like farmhouse stuff, really, really like art deco, modern, more like beachy vibes. So there's definitely something for everyone. So this one kind of looks like this thing. It looks like a geode, but there's this place in Orlando where you can go and make canvas art like this, which I think would be a fun date idea. And I actually saw someone doing it. I think Sophia Nygaard, if you guys follow her on YouTube, she was doing it and it looks Really, really fun. They have some really good stuff that'd be great for like a movie room. Like this one, they have like a Star Wars Millennium Falcon one. They also have the beer stuff. Uh, oh yeah, they have stuff for a bar, so like an open sign, can openers that are fun. Um, really cool stuff. They have endless amounts of like canvas art. So literally any room you're trying to decorate or if you're looking for anything specific, I would recommend just going on their website and searching and just kind of seeing what comes up because their selection is unmatched so i just found this and i really like it it is framed and then it's like on the inside fabric and then this like textured paper art almost it's really cool it's 130 dollars it's 32 by 32 i really really like this this one i can't tell i think this one is a little bit different are they different colors am i crazy is this one taupe and is that one like taupe and this one's gray oh yeah they are actually <laughs> I wish that they had like I don't know I can't tell if they're different but I wish that they had another like corresponding one because I really really love this they have this really cool table it's like wood with metal and it's rounded I like it a lot I think it's too industrial for like our style plus there's not really anywhere in our apartment that we could put it but I liked it, so I wanted to show it to you guys. It's $150. Just found this piece of canvas art, and it's metal, I think. Yeah, but from the side and from far away, it looks like ropes, and it's really, really huge. It's only $60. Okay, I absolutely love this. It's like paper mache material. Big, big circle piece of art, $70. I like that a lot. That's so cool. They have lots and lots of mirrors. So it kind of starts out like smaller here. Then it gets bigger. So we're talking like standing floor mirrors, wall mirrors, big decorative mirrors. Hello. <laughs> Just that sort of stuff. Lots and lots and lots of options. More like useful ones, more decorative ones. And yeah, all different styles. It's fun to film this because I get to say hello. 
Okay, so we've showed you all the home decor, organization, that type of stuff. All we have left to show you is the houseware. So this is like baskets, kitchen stuff, kitchen canisters, bowls, plates, that sort of stuff. Let's see what we can find. We actually need a lot of stuff in this category. So I'm hoping they have some cute stuff for us to show you guys. Remember the time we were looking for a laundry hamper? Well, we still are, and luckily here they have a lot of them. This one is nice. It has a lid. That was one of Brian's prerequisites. I like the color of this one, so I think that this could be a contender. It also has a nice bag that you can take out, which makes it easy to like do the laundry, so I don't know. Let's see what else we can find. This particular laundry basket is $50, which is a bit pricey, but... I don't know, I guess if it lasts, it's worth it. Here is a bit more of the laundry basket selection. I don't see any more that have lids, which is basically the biggest thing that Brian is looking for. So, I don't think it's gonna happen. Dang it, oh, that's a big one. Oh, oh, I like it. I like the way it looks so far. It's big, whoa. I like that a lot actually. So this one is also 50 bucks and I feel like this one's a lot nicer than the other one. This one is absolutely huge. Wow. What do you think? I like it. You like it? I think it passes. Do you feel like it's too big? Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Like, would it be a That's like three big? loads yeah. of laundry. It would take up a lot of space in like a closet, but I don't know. So we've come to the consensus that we think that while this one is amazing, it's just too big like it would just take up a lot of room in the closet and it would be like 17 loads of laundry and we just don't need to hoard our dirty laundry like that oh you, this is cute you can put lost socks okay well we actually do need something like that we have so many socks like literally where do they go i just every time one gets lost every load one sock somehow is gone if i told you that it went to gord's house would you know what that meant Okay, if I say that a lost sock ended up at Gord's house and you know what that meant, leave me a comment down below and tell me if you know what I'm talking about because that is a deep cut. Or what is that? Is that the is that the phrase? I don't know. It's like a deep reference to a Disney Channel original movie. I'll give you a hint, but that is what it's from. If you ever need a basket of any kind, go to at home. Oh, is this the same size? No, it's smaller. It's shorter for sure, but it's $60. It's more expensive. The other one's like a hot deal because it's huge and it's $50. I like this one too. This one's pretty nice. Like we said, this one is $60. I'm not kidding. The basket selection here is, it's ridiculous. Literally, the selection of everything here is ridiculous. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's so little. Oh. Bye. Perfect for a little girl's room. Okay, this is the first time I have felt like, or maybe the second time, I felt like home goods selection is better. Very weak kitchen towel selection. They're very like plain and boring, and I feel like home goods definitely has the market on those. Okay, I will admit, this one is cute. This one is very Brian and I. It says, every day I'm brustling. They have tablecloths, placemats, so many more serving trays. They had a bunch in like home decor section too. This store is just like beyond ridiculous. They have everything you could ever imagine, anything you could ever need. Like there's literally no way for me to show you everything they have. This store is just absolutely ridiculous. Like there would literally be no way for me to ever show you everything they have here unless I moved in and just like live streamed myself walking up each aisle for like six hours. Like it's, it's crazy. They have a lot of like pots and pans, cookware sets, very similar to home goods in that aspect. A lot of different like frying pans. Then they have a lot of like mixing bowls. This is all like the baking stuff. Seems like they have a pretty good selection. I have mentioned this in a few videos, but we are going to be looking for an all new pot and pan set. So if you have one that you love, Go ahead and send it to me either leave it down in the comments or just tell me what it is and i will go ahead and like look into it because honestly i don't know where to start we have nice knives because brian used to work for cutco like a million years ago 
So we have a lot of like cut co knives and those are super nice, but we need pots and pans. So if you have ones that you love, definitely go ahead and let me know what they are because we need help. Don't be so salty and shake it till you make it. Clever. If you are looking for full dish sets, they have those here as well. For a full dish set, it is $70 and you get 16 pieces. So I'm guessing four bowls, four salad plates, four dinner plates, and four mugs. They do have a lot of other kinds as well. Black ceramic, different brands. This one is only 12 pieces. So definitely a lot of options. So if you're looking for options, you could come here. Okay, so just to kind of show you what I have in my cart, I have this pillow. You can take the cover off this pillow. Also, you can take the cover off. This is like a more rectangular one with tassels. I have that tree for $7.99. This little vase, I have an idea for like something I wanna put in it. And then we have a candle as well. Alrighty, you guys, well I, or we, are signing off from the at-home store. I hope that you guys loved the last two videos, this one and the Christmas one. Like I said, this store is so big and so crazy. There's literally no way I could ever show you all the stuff that is in here so if you have one in your area i definitely recommend checking it out or like i said you can shop the entire store online i can definitely help you guys look for stuff if you need links definitely just let me know go ahead and follow me on instagram if you haven't yet also while you're at it go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't and i will see you next time bye guys